if I can make it or not, guys. <clears throat> wow, it's narrow. Yeah, he's uh. Still breathing okay? It's tight, man. It's gonna be tight. Brand new adventure at a place that we've been to a couple times. Uh, Todd, this is the cave Todd and I and Chad were digging out. Uh, Todd can't make it today because he's taking his family kayaking nearby, but he's going to try to swing by this afternoon. So we have a different crew. Crew you have seen before, with the exception of one person. Hey! Hey! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Santa! Well, hello, hello. Yeah, you go by Red? I go by Red. Red. I hear you're an experienced caver. I might have been underground once or twice. <laughs> and of course, you remember Tom. Big bad Tom. I'd had him. What we're going to do is we're going to try to break off some of this edge right here. And then I'll go down inside with a muck pick and pull out some of the loose dirt. And if you remember from the last video, it goes in 100, 150 feet. You know, we can walk in there and uh, it uh, chokes out again. But I think the cave goes a lot further down to the spring, which you've seen in other videos. We just have to pull some of that mud and rocks out of there because uh, I can see that it actually opened up. Uh, so a lot of what we're going to do is work here right now open it up then we'll start back inside again okay so we've been working on it for a bit okay so i am in tom is still working on the entrance up there well i'm going to start uh just clearing some of these big rocks out to make it easier to get in for the rest of the rest of the crew and that's the cave don't see any raccoons i take my uh helmet off so i get a little picture of my gorgeous face um yeah so we're just going to use a thing rake out these rocks and our red's coming down now she's going to help me down here and uh, Tom and Santa will get the top part. Look at the steam coming off me. Just some fancy knee pads. We might have those. He's Corbin. <laughs> it won't take us too long to open this up. Somebody order lights. Some what? Somebody order lights. <laughs> lights, oh yeah. <laughs> they said legs. Yeah, there's some legs. <laughs> Thank you. So we have uh, the entrance opened up a little bit. I think, there, is that Bob? Yep. Santa. He actually made it easy. Whew. <laughs> Sorry, uh, we steamed it up in here, but. That's that muck pick I got up in Canada. Works really well. I haven't been up any side passages. Oh, that, yeah, that one splits. I think it goes back around to the main passage, Bob. Okay. Um, and behind you is the passage that goes to the other side of the cave where it said it's another 150 feet or so. That's back up that way. But I, it should be by my pack. If you have it, that's great. If not, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, we can get down in there and kind of regroup. That's probably the little sink, those two little sinkholes. You remember the two little sinkholes when we came up to here? Mm -hmm. That's probably where they are. Yep. <laughs> One and then... All right. Yeah. I'm uh, steaming like a freight train. Yeah. So what we're going to do is go down that next little passage and we'll start Need digging on it. Back and take a break Need for a while. So what? I need to name the cave. Yeah, I got to got to work on that. I'm not sure yet. I got a couple ideas though. This is the biggest room so far. Yeah. But uh, that's where we're going to have to dig down in there a little bit deeper. That's here, where it goes. Yeah, down there. Yeah. There's another side passage here, but it's going uphill. I can't get through it though. Red might be able to. It's pretty tight though, but it's going uphill. Yeah. All right, can I turn you off for a minute? <laughs> Who put a rock in his back? <laughs> I always had a heavy pack. Right? So people would try to put rocks in my pack, but I could tell. And I think we can get one of us through there if we dig on a little bit. So I'm going to start digging. If you look, you take a big light look down there, see what you can see. Looks to me like it opens up pretty good after ways. I mean, you got to get it. Oh, yeah. What do you think? There's a definite a trail. It's wider right here, but the trail's to the left of it. 
I mean, it looks like it opens up pretty good, doesn't it, on the other side? Uh -huh. Hopefully you can see that. There's all these crickets up here. Okay, crickets. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. Okay. Um, all right, so I think you got, he needs his... Well, he's probably coming up here. We're working on it now for about half an hour. We're moving the rocks up. Bob's piling them up here. We're getting it opened up. So we think we can maybe get to the point we can squeeze in there. Take a peek, what do you say? Squeeze right through there, no problem, man. Awesome. What do you say, should we do it? You guys have plenty of rocks, so you could like barricade me back in here, couldn't you? We could, probably. <laughs> we got the munchkin. Let's do it. I'm gonna grab a drink of water and we'll, we'll slide in there. Didn't bring my kayak, so, so if there's a big river, we can't kayak through it, but it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> They're picking on me. No. <laughs> Santa. They're like, he was like, I want to go first. I want to go first. Tell me, me, me. I said, I'm done with you guys. You can leave now. I'm being escorted off the property. There's a guy out there waiting for you. There's like one, maybe two spots in there. I think you can make it all the way through. Yeah, yeah, it looked like it was pretty good, man. You guys ready? <sighs> Could be awesome. You, you have to join YouTube before you can like. Oh, is that what it is? That's what it is. Oh. And most people won't join YouTube. Yeah, I don't blame them. <laughs> I, yeah. and, uh, I did it just Thank so I you, could post some private. Uh, well, you don't have to, to join. You don't really have to do anything, do you? No. 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 Adios, amigos. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, oh yeah. Let's bring tight. <laughs> I might take my hand off. There you go. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh no, I gotta get my helmet off. I actually stuck. Got a fat helmet. Fat, fat helmet. All right. Ready, guys? So, as you can see, it's kind of tight. You're gonna have to move some of these rocks. Hopefully, they don't get wedged and make me starve in here. I don't know if they'll get me out. My little friends. Here we go. Please. All right. What do you think, guy? There we go. All right. There we go. I think we can make it now. Part about this is I have to leave like one arm behind me dragging along useless so that my shoulders will fit through here and just use my left hand to move the rocks but I think we're almost through let's look all right here we go hope it opens up otherwise we're stuck forever dude ah well it keeps going pretty narrow but it's all mud um, but it looks like it opens up down there about another 20 feet. So I'll just keep sliding as best I can. What do you think? Yep. You guys cool with that? Yep. All right. Make it or not, guys. Wow, it's narrow. Yeah, he's, uh... Hey, you still see my, can you still see my feet? Yep. Could you tie my pick on it? <laughs> I think it, um, yeah, because I think it'd be easier for me to, to uh, dig it up from the other side. Um, yeah, just like, you know, on the, where the magnet is and just rope it around my foot. I'll pull it behind me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them tie that pick to my foot. I'll just drag it behind me. And, um, yeah, make it along though, okay? Yeah. So that I'm just dragging the webbing for a long ways. Yep. Okay. And that way it doesn't wedge in there and make trap me. And uh, I'll get the pick on the other side and probably dig out that way better because it's all downhill. It's mostly just mud. <sighs> They're tying the uh, rope on my foot right now. What I'm going to do is it's going to be attached to that pick, but it's going to be like 20 feet of rope. Um, so the pick won't actually come in here until I can get down there to get turned around. So it's not going to wedge me.
Okay, you should be good. All right, thank you. Yep. So what we have to do now is try to slide through this mud. It is going to be slick as a goose. <laughs> and hopefully we can make it. Boy, it's going to be tight. Yowza, yowza, yowza. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's tight, man. It's going to be tight. But I can dig with my fingernails <laughs> if I have to. Sorry, knocked you over. <laughs> Oh wow, it's tight. Tight. Tight as can be. I'm gonna have to move some of this mud here, guys. Sorry, you can't watch me. What I'm doing though, you can't see me, guys, is I'm digging a little trench so my chest can slide through here. I'm digging it with my bare hands. Alright. Alright. I'll take a look. What I'm trying to do is just dig this out a little bit so I can slide through. Just a little groove in the mud. Like no warm. Nice moist warm dog intestine. There we go. I'm gonna have to do this a couple more times. I'm gonna turn you up for now. When we get close to the other side, I'll get you back out. It won't be long. Oh boys. It's freaking tight, but we're getting there. Maybe. Oy. Getting cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting there. Oh yeah, I guess I should tell you guys. I didn't make it through. Uh, <laughs> I worked, uh, but I just I couldn't quite. I think I was within three or four feet of the end, but it just wore me out. <laughs> Part seven. <laughs> Part seven of this cave adventure <laughs> coming up. <laughs> Next time we'll get through. If not, well, we might get through this time, but next time for sure. <laughs> Thank <you>, Bob. <laughs> Pretty rough, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Well, when you get cold, that's the problem. Yeah, well, I'm not cold. I'm just tired, man. My, uh, pushing with my arm, left arm. Pretty rough, man. Got like a pound of mud up in my sleeve there. <sighs> Make it. <laughs> we need a sheet. Why do we do this? Huh? Why do we do this? Why not? <laughs> I like her answer better. Why not? Her question, why not? So what could you see? Anything? Or could you see over that ledge? Nah. But no. I, I was looking more how we can work it. I think we need a sheet tray with a hole punched in it. Oh, yeah. Pile the mud on as we go. Yeah. Somebody behind us pull it back. Yep. I agree. There, there's a uh, actually whole punch of both. Dave not uses back and forth. what looks like a because we can get that out of the way. A uh, antifreeze <laughs> container, but like three times the size, so it's only like three or four inches tall. And you pull it through, you fill it, and you just pull it. Yeah. Part seven. <laughs> Part seven of this cave adventure coming up. Ready. <laughs> Or if you're living or somewhere in